finishing up my photography session today. Hi, Cast Off Crew. It's me, Margaret. And if you're wondering why the light's kind of weird in here, it's because it is a rainy, dreary day. This weekend is when my friend's store is going to have its um, grand opening open house. It's the perfect weekend for her to do this because there is a street market fair. It's um, similar to a flea market, but it's really big, and she has a booth that's set up right around the corner from her store. And so I'm rushing to get some stuff done for that. And she'll be able to, um, you know, of course, sell right there at the booth, and she can direct people over to the store. So it was really good timing for her to have this uh, grand opening or whatever. So anyhow, I wanted to show you, thus the harsh light, um, what I've been working on at the last minute here. I made a bunch of hair bands, headbands this week. Uh, this is a free pattern that I got off of Ravelry. It was very easy. And of course you can modify it by taking away or adding uh, rows. So I did one in maroon. Again, using my scraps up. That was good. I did a smaller one, a thinner one in purple. And I did one in lavender. I used the last of my wild flower. Oh, here it is. I used the last of my wild flower red heart. I um, love these colors together, but it's a very, very stiff yarn. So I need to try to soften that one up before I put it on sale for sure. And that was fun. Okay, and then Bob Wilson123, who's Claire, um, did this cross stitch beanie, a tutorial for this cross stitch beanie. And um, I really liked it. Very simple to do. And um, I used my Big Lots yarn, that baby yarn that I, I loved so much. And this is actually a good color. It's, it's not actually coming out the, the, the true color on here, but it's a very, very pale yellow, almost an ivory. And as a matter of fact, in certain light, it looks like ivory. And, um, oh, I didn't mean to take this off because I want to show you something. Um, but of course, this one feels so good. This was a very easy pattern to do, but the nature of the pattern, let me see if you can see this. Can you see that? The nice, neat rows, and then you get to the back, and it actually makes a sort of V here where the stitches meet because of the nature of the stitch. Um, you have to make sure that everything's lining up the way you want to, so you slip stitch over one each time. And, and it kind of created a, a, I don't know, this really odd V in the back, but, but it's, it's not really noticeable, I guess, unless it, me, you know, because I did it. I, it, it yells at me, but can you, can you tell that? I don't know. But anyway, that was that. Love the feel of that yarn. So then, um, got on, on Etsy, and there are a million versions of this uh, little hat. And I made it real quick. I have another one in the works. But it's a gingerbread person hat. Got to do my edges in here. But isn't that cute? But I think the gingerbread needs to be a lighter color because the contrast of the black eyes don't come out so well. But um, yeah, that was cute too. So I'm gonna do a couple more of those if I can. I'm running out of time, gotta hurry. That's all that I've got um, crochet-wise this week, but I'm about to go put together a video on my mannequin makeover, which has taken up a large chunk of my time this week. Um, and uh, that one is not intended to be comical, but it, 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 it's turning out that way. So anyway, uh, so look for that video if you're interested in, um, you know, changing the way your plain old naked styrofoam mannequins look. So hope you do a better job than I did. And I use my Red Hots, Red Hots, Big Lots, <laughs> Big Lots, Super Saver. No, what? I don't know what I'm talking about.